Welcome to East Shade, a delightful place where everyone is so kind. Hanging out here is comfortable and relaxing, like a nice cup of warm tea on a chilly Saturday. A genuine and heartfelt game that I loved. I mean, the point of the game is to make four paintings for your mother's memory. It just so happens that East Shade is so inviting and a great place to explore. East Shade is beautiful. Between the lush forest, frozen mountains, and rocky beaches, everything is so nice to look at. They did a great job with the ambient sounds, and every area has something unexpected to find. East Shade is an exploration game. All the mechanics feed into this. The player is constantly rewarded for searching every corner of the world. There are no quest markers, no UI elements to send you in any direction. The game does a great job giving you a simple map that doesn't show your location. Be aware that there is fast travel, but I rarely used it. The game world is not so big or so complicated that it's hard to get around, though. It's refreshing. The developers really thought about it and placed plenty of content. Now, that can take a few different forms, whether that's a beautiful vista, a quest, or a locked area. If you look, there will be something that piques your interest. The view distance is important as well, and you can see distant structures that will intrigue you enough to walk over there and take a look. For example, if you don't fully explore the forest, but make it to Nava, from there looking back to the forest, you'll see a hot air balloon. Come on, how do you not go check that out? Here's an example of exploring the town and going down all the way down this path and finding a locked door and you just wonder, what's behind that door? I need to know. What's the password? And get lost. So you're an artist, a painter. The game makes it easy to paint a scene. Pick the framing and away you go. This isn't a painting game. The game handles it all for you, which I like. So you're going to be getting a lot of requests to make art. For example, you're tasked with painting a sandy beach to trade for a recipe. With no directions where that sandy beach is, you'll need to explore the world to find it. Now go find that beach. For example, here's me painting the beautiful Nava skyline with this cute couple sitting here enjoying the view. You can just easily adjust what size you want the painting to be, and then you press a button and they paint it for you, and magically it ends up being a beautiful rendition of the scene. Now, you can't paint whenever you want. You need the inspiration. This is a resource you have to manage in the game, but it's not stressful. I like the mechanic because it fits the game, but it's unneeded. Still, I can't imagine the game without it. You get more inspiration for finding new areas and reading books, so it does force the player to seek new areas, but if you're playing the game, you're going to be doing that anyway. Anyway, the other part of East Shade that is great are the inhabitants. The place is full of life and interesting people. No duplicate, boring stock people. You know how in Elder Scrolls, everyone saw a vile mud crab? They all kind of said the same thing. We're all talking about the king's murder. Well, there's none of that here, which is nice. They didn't feel the need to fill the air with anything but nature sounds and music. The people are incredibly friendly, and with just how much voice acting there is in this game, I'm shocked. I can't believe they have so much. I, I suppose they could have gotten away with only some voice acting, but it really helps bring out the characters. Even some of the smaller characters have a couple lines. So for this tower, it's completely locked up, and then you go ask around town about it. Reef, sir, I remember playing in there as a kid. The ocean looks beautiful from the top. Towers like that were used to send fire signals to Nava, but we don't need to do that anymore. It's a bit eerie. But late the other night, I thought I saw lights coming from inside the tower. Oh, it's probably just some kids playing a prank. Now it's a mystery to solve! Even though the people are friendly, they can sometimes get confused. The developer programmed enough dialogue, but it doesn't cover all possibilities, and I, I don't fault them. That would have been too much, and I'm sure too expensive. But if you meet someone out of order, it feels weird. A simple example of this is when I met a woman when I first got to Nava 
and she told me she heard I was very helpful around town. What? From who, lady? Tell me the names. Being more serious, this is such a minor complaint. If this were a triple A title, it would get blasted, though. But it's not. Side note, something I find really funny, and I, I know this is really silly and dumb, is just how I burst into people's homes and take any loose cloth and wood I find. I'm like, <laughs> it's the materials for building a canvas, and they're everywhere. But having a person watch me take it, and then they don't say anything, is so funny. I'm the cloth and wood bandit. Probably because in so many other games, the police would show up and take me away. Stop, thief! One of the things you'll be doing at East Shade is crafting, which requires materials that you find around the world, and you use this crafting screen to make new canvases or a tent. Anyway, keep in mind that East Shade is a casual game. There's no way to fail. Even if you're outside when night comes, you can't freeze to death, the game politely teleports you back to the last inn you stayed at. Also, there's plenty of ways to make money, so you can't get stuck, but it's done very well and, and fits into the game. If I was going to make a complaint, it would have to be about the physics. Sometimes the character auto steps over a rock and, and things can get weird, like flying up into the air. I've also had an object floating in the air. However, it's so minimal. And it, if this is my biggest complaint, then there's really nothing else to really worry about. That, that's pretty good. Oh, and I, I really wish there was a way to share the paintings easier. On Twitter or save a JPEG, the game wants you to make extra paintings, and I, I did. I, I found some very cool scenes, and I, I painted them up, and I, I really enjoyed and coveted those paintings. But in the end up, I just painted over them because I couldn't hang them or save them in a meaningful way, and I, they were just taking up space. Overall, East Shade is awesome, and I loved it. If your idea of fun is to be dropped in an unknown place and help out around town, then this game is for you. Indie games should take note. East Shade raises the bar for exploration games and a level of polish I rarely see. The ending, too. It really drives home how much heart the developers poured into this game. It's fantastic, and I, I really did love it. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Unfortunately, he and I did not get along terribly well. It was destroyed such a long time.